everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this edit. This image was submitted by the lovely Kate Cashin Photography, and I knew the minute that I saw it, I had to transform it into this wintry wonderland. So this is the before, and this is the after. The first thing I did was open it into Lightroom, and I'm going to do some basic adjustments by pulling up the shadows to 100%, pulling up the blacks to about 88%, and then I'm going to come down to the noise reduction and increase that to about 40-41%. And that's the before and after with just those few tweaks. And now I'm going to open it up into Photoshop. Okay, now that I'm in Photoshop, the first thing I want to do is crop it in just a little bit. So I'm going to hit the Command A to select the image. And then I'm going to come up to Select, Transform Selection. And then I'm going to pull down on the corner just a little bit. And then I'm going to line it up over my bride, or the bride, I should say. She's not mine, but that looks good to me. Hit the um, check mark, and then I'm going to come over to the image, crop, okay, and then Command D to deselect it. Okay, now I'm going to make a copy of the background layer by selecting it and hitting Command J. And I'm going to come up to my filters, camera raw filter. And I'm going to go to my presets and hit simplicity number two. Okay. And that is the before and after with that. And now I want to flatten my image by going to layer, flatten image. And I'm going to run the painterly action. And then I'm going to go down to zero and kind of increase it to where my eye likes it without paying attention to what it does to their features because I'm going to mask that off. Make sure that I have my white layer mask selected with a soft black brush at 100% opacity. And I'm just going to come through and mask it completely off of their face in little details. Of her dress, just bring some of that back. Her hands. I'm going to remove this completely from his outfit. At least his jacket and the flowers. This face. Okay, there we go. That about does it there. So this is the before and after with the painterly. I just love how smooth it makes it. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to bring back some of the details in his little rain boots. I just loved that. So fun. Okay, there we go. Now we're good to go. Okay, now I'm going to come back over to my action panel, and I want to find the Storyville Winterized, and this is where the magic's really going to happen, guys. Just love it. If you can't have snow, you can certainly fake it, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to come over to the base. If you notice, it is a black mask, so that means we need a white brush, and I'm going to take it down to about 50% opacity. It doesn't have to be exactly that. And I'm going to increase my brush size by hitting the right bracket key. And I'm just going to slowly brush over. And because it's not at 100%, you can kind of do different. You can come back and run it over where you want to in certain areas. And I just keep increasing and decreasing my brush size by using the bracket keys. Okay, it makes it super quick and easy. And that looks good. I would take a little bit of time if you're printing this or doing it for a client so you don't get halos. And then if you see any run over on their skin or face or anywhere you don't want it, just go ahead and grab your black brush and just kind of mask it off. Okay. So this is the before and after with that. I'm going to skip this right here for now and then I'm going to come over to my winter tones. I'm going to turn that on and open the group up. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and turn off tone five, and I'm going to do tone number two here. And you can click on the mask and use the soft back, ugh, black brush. I'm going to just take it off at 50% opacity and leave a little bit on their skin and hair so it blends nicely. Take some of it off of her dress. Okay. There we go. So that's the before and after with that tone. And I'm going to come over to my frost vignettes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn one off. I want two on that as well. 
So this is the before and after with that. With just those few simple steps, it's already made such a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and group it together so you guys can see. Um, so by holding the shift down, this is already selected. I'm going to come down to the base, and that's going to put all of them into this group when I hit the group, and then on and off. Such off, off guys. Such a transformation. I'm not going to use these for this image, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove those to clear up some space. Okay, the next thing I want to do is find the ultimate dodge and burn. I have so many actions that I've made. Okay, here we go. Sometimes it's hard to find. Okay, open it up. Dodge and burn clothing. I'm going to go to the dodge and burn combo. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to go over his suit and the flowers. And then you can always increase it or decrease it to your liking by just pushing the slider to the right. Okay. And now I'm going to come up to the dodge and burn skin and hair. I'm going to just select one of the burns and I'm going to go over her lovely hair. Isn't she just gorgeous? So beautiful. I hope they had a wonderful day at their wedding. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come over to his beard. Just darken. Okay. So that's the before and after with the ultimate dodge and burn. Okay, and now I want to go ahead and pull in some snow. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up, oops, that's not what I want, <laughs> my finder. I'm going to grab the Magical Snow Overlay 5. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, drag and drop. Pull up the corners a little. Okay. And I'm going to set it to screen mode. And then I need to come back in here and grab overlay 11. Pull this up just a little bit. Screen mode. Okay. And then the last one is 14. Same thing. Pull it up just a little bit. Set to screen mode. And that will get rid of the black background completely. So by holding the shift, I'm going to go ahead and select the bottom, and I'm going to group them together, add a layer mask, use a brush, 100% opacity, and I'm just going to kind of mask it off where it's distracting and where I don't want it. So just take it away here. And if that's like too distracting by his face, but you want to leave it a little bit, just decrease the opacity of your brush and it will take it down a little bit. Okay. So this is the before and after with the snow overlays from the Snow Day collection. Now I want to come over to my retouch action and I'm going to go to the skin color correction and hit play. I just want to fix up her red hands there a little bit. So I'm going to come down to the Reduce Red. I need a soft white brush at 100% opacity. I'm going to just brush that over the red here. And then I'm going to go ahead and come down, decrease it to zero, and slowly increase it to where my eye likes it. And that's the before and after. I just took some of that red out of there. And now I want to add yellow. And then you can hit the X to get the black if you kind of run over in certain areas and mask that off. And then I'm going to take that down to zero and then just kind of increase it like I did with the red one to where my eye likes it. Okay, and that just took a little bit of that red away and matches the rest of her skin now. Okay, now I want to come over to the rosy cheeks and lips. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I was having a day apparently when I made this action. Rosie spelled wrong there, Rosie spelled correctly there, and also wrong here. I don't know what I was thinking, but sorry about that. Kind of funny though, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just turn this down to about 49 so I can see where I'm painting. I'm just going to run this over her lips. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to decrease it quite a bit. 
about 22 looks good. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to him just to bring some color back in. Okay, so before and after. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is run the smoothing and sharpening action. To do that, I want to make sure I have just the back layer, um, the background layer showing. So I'm going to flatten my image completely. And I'm going to come over to my smoothing and action step one, hit play. reduce it to zero and just kind of increase it to where I like it before and after. And now that just kind of smoothed everything over. Um, I just, I love the effect so much. Okay. Now I'm going to, I didn't flatten that. It still has a silky smooth layer up and I'm going to hit play for the step two. Now I'm going to decrease it and then slowly increase it to where my eye likes it like everything else y'all trust your eye okay and there we go and that does it guys um also if you're not feeling like the blue tones that come with the winterized action you can also just come over to your adjustments i love the blue tones and what it adds to the scene but it also looks really cool if you just like desaturate it all and that looks pretty dang cool too um yeah, so, okay, but that's not the image that I selected to share. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And that is it. So this is the before, and this is the after. Thanks again, Kate, for letting me play around. Everyone else, you can find everything I used here over at www.storyblephotography.com. Have a great day. Bye.